The opposite occurs when there's a decrease in demand for a product. Assume, for instance, that there's a drop in the price of a substitute good, like chicken burgers. Now, what would be the impact of this on the market demand for fried chicken pieces? Well, a decrease in the price of chicken burgers caused me to buy one instead of the usual fried chicken, and households in this market will generally do the same. This will cause a fall in demand for fried chicken, and the demand curve shifts to the left. At a price of four rand, the quantity demanded might now be only one thousand eight hundred pieces, while the quantity supplied is still three thousand. And we now have an excess supply in the market. This excess supply will cause the price to drop. Suppliers will compete with one another in order to sell their excess stock. As the price drops, buyers are able and willing to buy more and more, and suppliers produce less and less. The process continues until equilibrium is reached. Now at a price of three rand and a quantity of two thousand four hundred pieces. To summarise, then, any factor other than the price which decreases the demand for a good or service will eventually cause the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity to fall.